Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a few ways you can make your videos look a lot better using colour grading in HitFilm Express. Okay, so what we're doing inside the software to spice up this image is first off, make a grade layer so you can separate your colour effects from the footage so you can make comparisons afterwards. And the first effect we're going to be looking at is called Crush Blacks and Whites. This is used to add contrast and stuff. It's also used to add a little vibrance and also a little brightness and darkness. Depends what you're really going for. Now, you want to get both of them as high up as possible without the image breaking. Because the more contrast, the more absolutely cinematic it looks. But when I say more contrast, I don't mean more contrast. I mean more contrast, because if you add too much contrast, it's just going to look like a dark image and no one can see and the colours look horrible. So you're going to try and keep it relatively low, but you still want to make it look good. So the next effect we're going to be looking at is called Curves. Curves is a really good effect for colourists. I don't really specialise in colour grading, but I know a thing or two. So let's get started. As you can see in this effect, you have a chart and there's whites and blacks. Um, blacks in the corner and whites are at the sides. And what this does is that when you move your pointer towards the whites, it, you get a brighter image with that colour. And when you uh, move it towards the darks, then it is less bright. Or at least that colour is. Sorry, I'm not very good at this effect. I just know that a lot of people recommend it. As always, um, you have the typical RGB, red, green, and blue. And if you were to turn this effect on and off, just look at it. It's doing quite an impact. I think it's doing rather well. But, you know, that's just me. You guys comment below what you think of this, because this might be a load of garbage, in you guys' opinion. Okay, but the next effect we're going to be looking at, and the final effect, is Levels Histogram. I like this one because you can look at the colours and see actually what they're doing. But you can also use it to add a little contrast. They have pointers everywhere, and I'm not going to take too much time demonstrating this effect, because I honestly don't know this effect very well. I know, I know the, you know, I know the basics of it, but that's all I can really teach you if I don't know anything else. So you can move the little pointers around to the certain colours you want, you can go on the typical red, green, blue, obviously, because most colour effects have them, I think. I don't know, maybe. So you can just play around with that, and that is that. There is a lot of blue in my image, so I just played around with the blue a little bit. Turned the grade layer on and off, and I think we've done rather well today. Um, tell me what you think in the comments, and that will be it for the colour grading. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to check out my other content and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next time I make a video. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say at the end of a video. So, goodbye, have a nice day, and I will see you next time.